Hello friends, uh, I welcome you all uh, in the new uh, season of these series. Uh, we are doing a, a series of videos on uh, career opportunities as a tooling engineer or tool and die maker. Uh, I, I want to thank you all for your overwhelming response and the comments and the interactions that we are having uh, because of these videos. Uh, the objective of this video, uh, series of video is to uh, help whoever is trying to make uh, their decisions on picking the course, uh, they have the complete information that uh, what would they expect after completing the course. That is the objective of these uh, videos. So uh, in this series, uh, we will be talking about uh, uh, role of mold maker. So I uh, will be leaving link of other uh, parts. Uh, if you have missed it, uh, uh, you can uh, get to them uh, clicking on those links. So uh, let's get started with uh, today's topics. So today's topic is uh, role as a mold maker. So if you are interested in the manufacturing, the role that you would be picking and you love to work on machines, you are passionate about uh, uh, the manufacturing processes, the process of mold making, then the, the, the role that you should be picking is, the role that you should be picking is uh, the uh, mold maker. So a uh, mold maker basically uh, starts from the design that you would receive from the uh, uh, design department. Uh, so uh, basically the, uh, the tool room will be organized as a groups. Uh, if it is a huge mold, you will have a two, three people and then uh, uh, lead, uh, lead uh, mold maker will be there to help you out or to troubleshoot the manufacturing issues and all that. If it is a small mold, uh, individual mold maker, senior mold makers will be working uh, individually. Uh, normally, if it is a huge tool room having multiple uh, molds running simultaneously, then in that case, you will have a multiple groups of uh, mold makers and then one will be senior mold maker and then uh, two, three, based on the mold size, uh, number of uh, junior mold makers will be working under him. Basically, uh, uh, the mold maker role is uh, very crucial. Uh, the important skill that uh, you need to have is a complete manufacturing knowledge, how the um, uh, manufacturing processes works, uh, complete understanding of your uh, mold functionality. Uh, that uh, will come only uh, if you have a great ability of uh, interpretation of drawings. So once you get the uh, drawings from the design, those are all uh, the printed drawings. Now you may be getting the models to look at, but the earlier when I started career, it was only the pure 2D drawings. So you should have a great ability to interpret the drawing, uh, read your section views, read your side views, auxiliary views, understand what details are going where. All that is very essential. But in case of a mold maker, uh, the important machinings are only, uh, only uh, CNC uh, milling, and then the uh, EDM. So core cavity machining is only the tool room normally focus on because rest of the things uh, you can get uh, in the market uh, ready-made. Like there are uh, there are companies which, who are all spe specialized in uh, mold-based manufacturing. They will uh, take care of those things. Uh, only when uh, uh, tool room is uh, decided to do it by their own, which is uh, not... Uh, uh, practically possible because the, that the lead time to do a mold uh, uh, will not be able to meet uh, if you do everything in-house and that needs a huge infrastructure then uh, that is a business decision uh, one tool room would make like uh, to all the mold base normally is uh, got done from outside by the experts because these uh, mold bases and pin sizes everything is a standard so if you are uh, uh, buying it from them, uh, you have a fixed sizes. So, uh, okay, so let's get back to the topic. So I was telling about the skills. The one is the drawing interpretation skill. It becomes very crucial for you. You have to interpret the drawing and convey what is to be done to the uh, shop floor machinist. And then second skill is uh, uh, the breakdown of the processes. Say for example, you have a core cavity uh, that, uh, that will have the uh, machining to be done, heat treatment need to be done, then grinding need to be done, EDM need to be done, then the cooling hole to be drilled. All these processes will come. You should know how to break down your processes and decide which are all need to be done pre-hardening, 
which has to be done post hardening what is the stock should be left for the uh, post uh, hardening machining finish machining all that uh, leaving the stock for the pre machining post machining all that details you should know that becomes a crucial thing so you will create intermediate drawings for the machining and then give it to the machinist to complete the process the uh, the important uh, some of the industries the best practices they create the bubble chart bubble chart will have the process breakdown uh, from starting from the uh, picking the raw material from the material store then the milling rough milling then the finish milling then cnc milling then your uh, uh, heat treatment then the post heat treatment what is to be done all that so you can break down your uh, processes like uh, you have to get your cooling hole uh, drilled uh, prior to sending it to the heat treatment all that uh, intricacies you will learn only on the shaft floor on the job so you will have some senior to help you out on those so what is to be done first what is to be done next all that uh, you will get uh, help uh, you need somebody to help you on that because you will study theory portion in the uh, part of course but uh, once you do one or two molds on your own then you will realize what is to be done first what will come from outside and all that it will involve uh, you uh, once you get all your core cavities everything machined the important thing is the blueprint matching you have to fit your core cavities into the mold base and then do the shut off shut off is nothing but the uh, you, you will do the blue matching between the core and cavity uh, by you, uh, if it is based on the mold size if it is a huge mold you will be making use of uh, overhand cranes and then doing the shut off uh, blue matching if it is a small mold you can do it on the bench as well so once that is done then your uh, tool mold will be going for uh, testing uh, once uh, you get the sufficient shots of components and then if there is defects and then you will have to troubleshoot normally air vent is a one shot filling or the certain uh, uh, basic uh, uh, defects that we normally see so th those there are multiple ways that how to fix them maybe uh, 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 that that uh, you will uh, get to know during your course as well and then there are standard uh, defects that would uh, occur so such cases uh, definitely there will be solutions that you need to do say for example if you have a burn mark then uh, providing the uh, the burn mark comes uh, for many reasons one would be the the air is getting trapped air is not uh, moving out of your core and cavities that's why it creates the uh, burn mark or a short fill so for that the easiest way is to provide the air vent but air vent should be uh, uh, a small one such that it doesn't lead to the flashes so that care should be taken so these all uh, you will uh, do it as the after the trial once the trial uh, uh, is over and then component uh, is good and then uh, you will have enough uh, uh, shots being enough uh, shots of uh, mold cycle uh, that those components will be uh, used to uh, prove that uh, you have your mold is achieving the required uh, requirements so uh, so i just in a nutshell i will just uh, repeat uh, repeat uh, what are all the roles you would be doing as a mold maker the first one is the important skill is uh, interpretation of drawing the second skill is the manufacturing process because you need to break down the manufacturing processes important manufacturing process involved in mold making are uh, the milling and then the wire edm and then the uh, edm so that we will discuss uh, when we discuss about the uh, role as a machinist or role as a nc programmer we will do another video on that so that you understand this and then the third one uh, the very important thing is interpretation of uh, your drawing you should know how the functionality uh, how the mold will function uh, based on the uh, complete uh, drawing study you get so i think uh, uh, if we are passionate about spending your time on the shaft floor uh, the role that you should pick is the mold maker hope uh, this information is useful for you to make a decision uh, stay tuned thank you for all your uh, encouragement and uh, uh, the response that you are giving wish you all the best thank you stay tuned see you with the next video bye bye